Yes guys, you can play Genshin Impact with your controller very easy and in this video I'm going to show you how to do this and which application you need. So subscribe to the channel and let's go check it out. Okay, the first thing we need to do is go to our Play Store and look for the application Mantis Gamepad Pro. You press on that and then you download the application and if you want you can download it from Google you press Mantis Gamepad Pro APK this is a free application once you have downloaded it you open it up let's open the app now when we open the app you see the gamepad is already connected I connected my PS4 controller with the Bluetooth you can connect PS4, PS5 for Xbox it doesn't matter but we need to start our mantis body application you press here and now you can see there are a couple things that you have to activate all of these things you have to activate in your developers options okay you have to activate enable floating widget you have to activate enable usb debugging also allow overlays over settings and turn on disable permission monitoring yeah, this is important that you check mark all of this in your developers option and then we also have to enable the uh, wireless debugging. Let's enable it. It will take us here and here it is. We enable it like this. We go back and now we have to pair our application. We press pair. This screen will pop up. We keep it open. And we go to wireless USB debugging. Pair device with pairing code. This is important. Pair device with pairing code. Press it. You get this code and this code, these six digits you have to put in here. So it's two, three, four, one, zero, three. Okay. Press pair. And now your Mantis body is connected. We can see it's activated successfully. Let's go back. You'll get this. You go back. And now you see your Mantis body is connected. Now you can see here where you can see games. I added already my games. If you haven't done it yet, you have to press add. And when you press add, this will open up. You can choose your applications or games. You add them and you go back. Okay. And now we are going to open Genshin Impact. It is here. Let's open it up. So Genshin Impact is starting now. Okay. Now you can see that I can use my controller. But before you can use it well like this, you have to map your buttons first. Okay. So we're going to press on the Mantis icon. And here we can add our sticks left and right and then we can move them to choose where we want them to be and when you press A for example and I'm gonna add the share button like this you see you get share here and then you can move it around as you like in my case I, I have my left and right stick and here I use my triangle square cross and circle and my left button just to change the just to change the person I'm using okay so now I set it like this, you can see I can walk around, I can do everything, everything, I can use all the controls and it's actually very nice to play like this. This is one of the best Android games that you can play with a controller actually and it really makes it uh, way better to play like this, okay? I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, if you like more tutorials like this or you need more information on how to play games with your controller or you have suggestions, just write it down in the comments. This was Review Chains and I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you very much.